Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 14 of the Universe Mode series. And here comes our general manager of Fight to make some pre show announcements. Of course, Travis Tyler, he is our general manager, one of three people in management. Of course, um, Robert Riley is the commissioner of both shows, and um, Chad Baldwin, of course, he's the general manager for battle. <clears throat> but this is fight, so here's our fight general manager making some pre-show announcements as I stated earlier. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we are announcing that we are having a Thanksgiving pay-per-view. On Thanksgiving night, we are having Thanksgiving Throwdown, the first ever Thanksgiving pay-per-view. Of course, just as we did our Halloween pay-per-view. On other terms, Silver Star called out Hawkeye for his Intercontinental Championship. But he was never declared the number one contender. Therefore, we are having a triple threat match tonight. But Silver Star also has a tag team match coming up next. So he is forced to compete twice tonight because of his actions. Thank you guys. Enjoy the show. Alright, so those were the announcements. Um, pretty good announcements. I mean, um, we're having a Thanksgiving pay-per-view. I mean, it's kind of um, given since we already had Halloween and they said that there would be other um, holiday-based pay-per-views, but um, yeah, on Thanksgiving night, I guess we're having pay-per-view, but next we have a tag team tournament match, um, the Valuables against the Bar, but the, but the thing is, Silver Star, which I don't know why they're coming out separately tonight, but maybe it has to do with Silver Star, he actually has to compete twice tonight, so... Um, yeah, it's, who knows, um, of course he has this tag team tournament match tonight, and then he has a triple threat match later on tonight, um, to determine if he's still the number one contender for the Intercontinental title, so, um, I'm sure he's probably gonna do his best to stay out of this match as much as possible, um, knowing that he's gonna have to compete twice. I actually, uh, <clears throat> I talked with Silver Star, uh, um, last week and asked him about why he, um, called out Hawkeye like he did, and he said that it was his time to shine and he deserved a title opportunity, so, um, that's, that's his thing. I mean, he's still getting a chance to get the tag titles, though, so... And here comes his his um, his younger brother. Actually, they're um, these two are brothers, Diamond Rush and Silver Star.
Of course, here comes their opponents. The bar. Sheamus and Cesaro. Um, of course, the bar, they want this tag team title opportunity. Um, the winners will be, and I believe it was said that it was a triple threat match um, to determine the actual number one contender, but I'm not sure if that was um, set in stone or not. Because this is supposed to be a tournament, so who knows. And speaking of tournaments, tonight we have the first match in our women's championship tournament. Um, Ronda Rousey and Liv G. Um, so, they'll be duking it out tonight. I believe that's actually the next match after this one. And uh, that's scheduled. So, um, here we have this tag team match starting. Um, and the winners advance in the tag team tournament. Oh wow, a slam there by Sorrow. Cesaro working on Silverstar right now. Silverstar might not be looking very good for his match later on tonight. Okay, now here comes Diamond Rush. <laughs> oh, taken down by Cesaro. Oh, and Cesaro, he's got him up. Oh, my goodness, he slams him down on the outside. Back first under the concrete. Oh, and now it's an all-out brawl on the outside. Silver Star, he's backing up now, realizing what he was about to get himself into. Oh, but wait a second, he's attacking Cesaro, throwing him back into the ring there. These two brothers think very alike when it comes to tag team matches. Oh, and the elbow dropped by Sheamus. <laughs> Taken down there by Sheamus. Now for the pin. One, two, and Diamond, or Silver Star, I'm sorry. Silver Star breaks it up. Now Diamond Rush, Diamond Rush, working on Sheamus. I cannot speak today for my life. This is one of those matchups that people have been looking forward to seeing. One, two. These, I don't think these two teams have ever faced. I mean, I know Silver Star and Sheamus have faced off before. Um, but in tag team match, I have no idea. Where did Silver Star go? Oh, okay. I thought Silver Star was abandoning his brother there for a second. But um, he is, he's still there, so. But these two teams, they both want the tag team title opportunity. Silverstar, of course, also wanting a 
intercontinental match. A nice double team by the valuables there. Oh, Silver Star turning things around. Oh, but Sheamus, just as I said that, dropped Silver Star. Going for the pin, but he's in the ropes. His feet were completely under. Oh, and the DDT by Silver Star. Tag to Diamond Rush now. Cesaro hasn't been in this match yet, but. Um, the Valuables have had the frequent tags. Oh, and now Diamond's Rush. He hits the tag. Oh, but he misses the Lariat on Sheamus. When he gets his momentum right back. Oh, but Sheamus reversing it with a shoulder tackle. Taken down. Oh, he's got him up on the shoulders now. What a move by Sheamus. Dragging him to the center. Cesaro taking care of Diamond Rush for the pin. One, two, three. The bar advances in the tournament. That cannot be good for Silver Star tonight because he has another matchup. Uh, he has a triple threat match, actually. And um, considering the beating he just took there by Sheamus, I don't, I don't know how he's going to do in that match. Um, Seamus did a lot working on the shoulder of Silver Star. Um, hopefully he can power through tonight. But you can see just there he slammed him right on his shoulder. That uh, left shoulder of Silver Star has got to be burning. But the bar will advance. And I guess that's just how it goes. Um, so, yeah, the bar is advancing. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be the women's tournament match now. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's Ronda Rousey versus Liv G. And Liv's twin sister, Izzy, will be in her corner. So it'll be Ronda Rousey versus Liv G. Izzy G, of course, will be in the corner of Liv. And um, both of these women want to advance in this tournament. Um, of course, only one of them can. And here comes Ronda Rousey, the baddest woman on the planet. This is the first ever women's match on the channel. That's already a, a feat for these two women. And to win the first ever women's match it will definitely be a feat for one of these two here tonight. And the crowd getting on their feet for Liv G. Of course, being accompanied to the ring by her twin sister. who is also in this tournament, so hopefully these uh, the two sisters will not have to face each other in um, the tournament, but, I mean, you never know. I, th I believe Izzy G is already out. 
Standing in the corner. Yep, there she is. So this is our first ever women's match, as I said. And it is to advance in the tournament for the women's championship. Of course, this is the first round. I mean, it's the first match, so it's kind of a given. But here we go. Izzy G already getting the crowd pumped for this match. Liv G working on um, Honda Rousey already. <laughs> Oh, wow. What a slam by Ronda Rousey. Oh, wow. And the leg right to the face of Liv. And yet again. Izzy G is not very happy with what's going on right now. Liv G turning things around for herself here. Oh, but Ronda Rousey. Oh, and Liv with the slam down. Oh, and a backbreaker to Liv G. Now Ronda Rousey got her in a submission hold. Will Liv G tap out? Ronda Rousey is not letting go. And she lets her out of it, realizing it wouldn't be enough. Oh, and now Liv just unloading on Ronda. Oh, and the knee to the stomach of Ronda Rousey and kicking her now. Liv G putting on quite a performance now. Wow, she just slammed down Ronda Rousey. If Ronda gets eliminated in this first round, I'm going to be so amazed. Oh boy. Now Ronda Rousey in the corner. And Liv. Oh my goodness. What a move from Liv G there. Now for the pin. One, two. And Ronda Rousey kicks out at two and a half. The crowd is cheering now. Oh my goodness, the submission. He's got her in the submission. Will Ronda Rousey tap out to Liv G? The crowd's going wild. What a women's match so far. The first ever women's match. Oh, wow. What a reversal by Ronda Rousey going for the pin now. One, two, and two and a half. Wow, what 
that was amazing. The determination of Liv G in this match. Lifting up Ronda Rousey and slamming her down. Oh boy. Working on the leg now. Now Liv G bragging and boasting. But Ronda Rousey right back up to her feet with the O oh, and the kick. Oh my. The drop kick to the back of the head. Now Ronda Rousey dragging her to the center for the pin. One, two, two and a half. Liv G kicks out once again. Ronda Rousey just slammed down Liv G for the pin again. And she gets her hand underneath the ropes there. Oh. But now she's got her. Oh, she's got her in the arm bar. She's got her in. But she gets to the ropes once again. She gets to the ropes. Now for the pin. One, two. And Liv G kicks out. Yes, she kicks out once again. Oh, and the stomp on the arm of Liv G. Ronda Rousey working on the arm. Oh, wow. Taken down by Ronda Rousey. Now the pin. One, two, three. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey will continue in the tournament. Sorry for Liv G. She will not be the first ever women's champion. But could her twin sister... That's the real question. Izzy G, she is still part of the tournament. Um, she hasn't had her match yet, but she will eventually. So Ronda Rousey. Winning the first ever women's match on the channel. I'm sure that's not the last we're going to be seeing of Liv G, though. Considering the determination she had in this match. There's no way that was it for her. Oh my gosh! Nemesis is attacking John Cena in the back in the backstage area. What what's going on? Now John Cena's fighting back. What what's what's happening right now? Why are these two fighting in the back? What What's going on? Oh my gosh. Now John Cena Oh my gosh, John Cena using a door to fight Nemesis. Now Nemesis is still attacking John Cena. I think they're in the parking lot. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's bare concrete out there. Oh my gosh. We need somebody to get out here, like, right now, like. Where is everybody? Everybody's, like, on the other side of the arena. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Nemesis is just attacking John Cena. I don't know what's go what's happening right now. Okay, now, now it looks like Travis Tyler being an equalizer here. Our general manager attacking Nemesis for what he just did. 
Looks like he got John Cena to retreat. Now he's just going at it on Nemesis. Don't know what's going on right now. Oh man. I don't know why Nemesis thought he could do this. And now Travis Tyler's putting the attack on Nemesis now. Oh man. This is not good. Oh gosh. If you want to fight, you're going to do it in the ring. You and John Cena will have to face tonight in the main event. That's what you deserve. Man, I have no idea what just happened. Um, I guess Nemesis and John Cena are going to have a match tonight in our main event. But now it's time for the triple threat. Um, <clears throat> wow, I, I have no idea what that was about. Um, but now it's the triple threat, as I said, for the... Um, Number one contendership. Um, of course, Fire, or I'm sorry, not Fire Skull. Um, Silver Star called out Hawkeye um, last week, and um, Brandon McClurg is the most recent Intercontinental Champion besides Hawkeye, so he's trying to get his title back. Um, and of course, Travis Tyler's in this match, who, um, which this originally was going to be a one-on-one -on -one match until last week when, um, Silver Star called out Hawkeye. So, it's now a triple threat. Now here comes Tyrone Stevenson. Of course, our main event tonight um, is Nemesis against John Cena. Even though Nemesis is one of the contenders for the um, Universal Championship right now. So, um, one of the two, of course. Um, so, uh, the third one is being crowned tonight. Um, my apologies, I forget who the second one is, but... Um, I know the general managers have not forgotten, so um, I know Nemesis, and I want to say, yeah, I don't know. Um, wait, actually, it might be final read. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I should probably just stop talking about it now. But um, so yeah, um, at Money in the Bank, so. Now here comes Silver Star, of course. He's got his shoulder taped up from that match he just endured at the beginning of the show. Um, as I was talking about earlier, um, 
Seamus was definitely working on that left shoulder. And he's got it taped up now. Definitely feeling the effects from that match. Of course, the tape's just to keep it as stabilized as possible. Um, I still, I'm in awe of what just happened in the backstage area. There's, peop there's people back there just trying to get ready for their matches, and then you got stuff happening back there. And luckily, Travis Tyler came out as an equalizer, but still, we can't have that kind of stuff happening, you know? Like, this is a company. You can't, you know, it's... I guess that's just a thing now, um, but um, the show must go on, as they say, I guess, um, but here we go, this is the triple threat, the winner gets to face Hawkeye at Money in the Bank, and um, so yeah. Now Silverstar throwing Tyrone into the corner. This is triple threat rules, so. win by pinfall or submission. <laughs> oh, and the double neckbreaker by Tyrone and Silverstar. Brandon's not looking very good in this matchup so far. Oh, wow. And a kick to the back of the head by Tyrone Stevenson there. That shoulder of Silverstar cannot be feeling good right now. Oh, now he's just lifting up. Wow. What a move by Brandon McClurg. Oh, now the double neck breaker to Tyrone. Only one of these men will be the contender. Oh, wow, what a backdrop. Oh, and the feet to the stomach. All three of these men just duking it out here tonight for the number one contendership for Hawkeye's uh, Intercontinental Championship. Which of course, if you don't remember, he won it at the Halloween Havoc pay-per-view. And, um... Which, here's the crazy thing. The next episode is a pay-per-view in between our weekly shows, which um, so they're not weekly always, but um, I try, uh, they, we're, we're trying to keep them as weekly as possible. That's, that's what we'll say. Um, and so, oh, and now the pin on Silverstar. One, two, three. 
Oh my goodness, Tyrone Stevenson did it. Tyrone Stevenson just pinned Silver Star. He's the new number one contender. So now I guess Tyrone Stevenson will be getting a Intercontinental Championship match. Wow. See, Brandon McClurg was trying to break it up, but... Tyrone Stevenson is the new number one contender. What the? Tyrone Stevenson being attacked. It's Sky Rain. Oh my gosh. Sky Rain. He's back from injury. And he's attacking his, his rival. I, I don't even know what's going on right now. First, the backstage attack from Nemesis, and now Sky Rain attacking Tyrone Stevenson after his victory. Sky Rain's back from injury, and he's looking for revenge. And now Tyrone. Oh boy, he's got him in an arm bar. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And he just beat Tyrone to a pulp. Oh my gosh. I don't know what is going on today. Oh no. He's got a kendo stick. Oh! Sky Rain, back from injury, is just attacking and pulverizing Tyrone. I don't know what's going on. This is insanity. Well, now Tyrone's getting medical help and now it's time for our, um, what was supposed to be our main event tonight, um, until, um, Travis Tyler announced that Nemesis and John Cena will be f going at it. It's a six-man battle royal to determine the last contender for Jake Lynn's Universal Championship. Um, and Spawn, actually. Spawn is the tag team partner of Nemesis, one of the other competitors for the title. So if Spawn wins this, then... There's going to be two members of a tag team going against each other. Speaking of Spawn, here he is. So Sky Rain's back from injury. Um, and Nemesis attacked John Cena earlier tonight and who knows why there's something going on here Here comes Heath Slater, second man in this match. One half of Slater and Rhino.
Now here comes Kane. Now here comes Levi Lewis, subscriber on the channel. What is he doing? He's dancing around. And here comes Edge, making his debut tonight. The crowd is on their feet for Edge. This is Edge's debut on the channel. And in his debut, he is getting a universal title opportunity. If he wins this battle royal, he will be the third and final person in the gauntlet match for the Universal Championship. And here comes the sixth man in this match. It is Thor from the Avengers. We're getting ready for this match tonight. This is a big match, ladies and gentlemen. The final member or person in the gauntlet match at Money in the Bank. So, Oh, Levi Lewis might be in trouble here. Thor trying to eliminate him. Kane looking to eliminate Edge. Edge knocks Kane out of the way. Same with Levi Lewis. Oh, now Edge thrown into the corner. Thor looking. He, was, he, he, he might be in trouble. <laughs> As I said earlier, I cannot talk for the life of me today. But. Oh, man. Heath Slater might be eliminated. And there goes Heath Slater, the first elimination. Oh, Thor might be in trouble. Levi Lewis might be eliminated. And Edge eliminates Levi Lewis. 
We're down to four. One of these four men will be in the Universal Championship match. Now Edge looking to eliminate Spawn. But Spawn gets out of it. Oh, but Edge once again looking to eliminate Spawn. Edge wants this victory. Oh, but Spawn gets out of the way once again. Oh, and Edge gets dropped by Spawn. Now Kane looking to eliminate Thor. And Spawn looking to eliminate Edge, but Edge pushes him off. Oh, now Spawn unloading on Edge. Now Thor might eliminate um, Kane. Oh, Edge almost had Spawn eliminated there. What a move there by Kane. Oh, now Spawn looking to, looking to eliminate Edge. And Edge with the elbow to the face. Thor is in trouble here. Kane just might eliminate Thor. And there goes Thor. We're down to three. It will will it be Spawn, Kane, or Edge? That is the question. Now Kane might be eliminated. Kane holds on. Now we're going to eliminate Edge. These two both working together to eliminate Edge. Will they get it? Oh, but Edge hangs on. Just like Kane. Oh, now Kane sent over the top rope. But Spawn buys him that time. Oh, and there goes Edge. There goes Edge. We're down to two. Edge is eliminated. It's either going to be Spawn or Kane. Now Kane looking to eliminate Spawn. But Spawn pushes him off. Spawn really wants this opportunity. But as I stated earlier, he may have to face his tag team partner at Money in the Bank if he wins this. Now Spawn looking to eliminate Kane. Kane pushes him off. Only, the, only one of these men can win the match. There's no such thing as a draw in a battle royal. Oh, and Spawn. Oh my gosh, he's going to do it. Spawn eliminates Kane. Spawn wins. Spawn wins. Spawn is going to Money in the Bank, ladies and gentlemen. And now there's that chance that Spawn may have to face his tag team partner. Congratulations to Spawn as we move on to our main event. Which is Nemesis versus John Cena. 
these two were brawling in the backstage area earlier on in the episode, and now they're going to have to fight in the ring. And here comes Nemesis. Of course, both of these men agreed to the match. No one has any idea why Nemesis would attack John Cena the way he did. Especially since John Cena, I don't think he's been on the channel. Um, um, of course, he was just in the backstage because um, all the performance, all the performers come to every show. Um, but for some reason, Nemesis felt the need to attack John Cena. And it looks like John Cena changed out of his bloody clothes into a different tire because that was a vicious attack by Nemesis and of course general manager Travis Tyler said to Nemesis if you want to fight you're gonna have to do it in the ring. So him and Nemes or him and John Cena are now the main event. Which this match was not planned for tonight, but um, this is now our main event. So. So now it's John Cena versus Nemesis. Now here goes this match. Starting things off in our main event. A nemesis with the slam to John Cena. John Cena caught the kick, but nemesis went ahead and did it. Oh, and the headbutt to the back of the head of John Cena. An elbow drop by Nemesis. I'm just in awe of this matchup right now. I'm almost speechless. S 
slam down. Now, Nemesis with the reversal. Crowd's going crazy. Oh, and the drop kick by John Cena. Ramming his hands into the skull of Nemesis. Oh, and the slam by Nemesis going for the pin now. One, two, two and a half. John Cena kicks out. Oh man, John Cena is being laid down. Oh, John Cena back up. John Cena with a, oh man. And down goes John Cena. So much for that one. Oh, but John Cena kicks out. Oh, he's got him in a submission. Is John Cena gonna tap out to Nemesis? Oh, John Cena punches Nemesis in the stomach. Oh no, he's got him in a submission again. Different one this time. Is John Cena gonna tap out? John Cena's fading. Oh, but John Cena gets out of it. John Cena. Spurt of strength by John Cena there. Gets himself back up. He's pumped. He is pumped. He's going for the pin on. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, man. I thought he was going to go for it. But Nemesis slams him down once again. John Cena's back has to be on fire right now. One, two, three. Nemesis wins. Nemesis, the man who attacked John Cena in the backstage area. Gets the victory over him in this matchup. What a match put on by those two. That's the closing moments of the match right there. That move and then the pin and the three count. Nemesis gets the win. But I have a feeling that's not the last we're going to see of those two. But that's it for this episode. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one.